Third of Elor, day three of praying with fire. But what happens if there isn't much fire today? What happens if it's a bad day and I just can't focus? I just don't feel connected. Maybe there was just only decaf or the milk was off or my mind was so busy when I was trying to have minhu, I was exhausted when it came to Marv. What does Hashem want of us? And the answer is, the Zoya Kodosh explains that there are two frames of mind. There's something called Katna Samoichin, small brains, and Gadlo Samoichin, big brains. Sometimes our mind is constricted and limited, but there's so much in our minds that we can't concentrate. But sometimes there's Gadlo Samoichin, expansiveness of mind. We feel connected, our minds open. During the times when our minds open, it's much easier to daven. But true avoida shavali work of the real tefil is when we have cutness and moichin. It's on those bad days that we show we really are a davener. Because on those days, that's when it's difficult. But what's Hashem want of us when we're just davening? And the answer is Hashem wants us to do the best we can. Whatever we can. Say as much as we can. Say the words and just go through the davening. You may ask, well, what's the purpose of that? Chazal say a tefillah without kavona is like a body without a soul that's dead. So what's the point of it all? And there's the famous story of the Bashemtov who walked into a shawl and he asked to speak. And the community listened carefully to the beautiful words of the holy Rabbi Yisrael Bashem. And he said, Rabbi Isa, your shawl is full of tefillah. And everybody thought, Psh, amazing. The Bashemtov, the holy Bashemtov said that our shawl is full of tefillah. And he said, the problem is it's all stuck in here. So what's the point of having a tefillah which has no kavana, it has no heart, and it just gets stuck in here? And the answer is, says the Yoshri Divri MS, that sometimes we daven a good tefillah. And when we daven a good tefillah, not only is that good tefillah with the godless moich lifted, but also that small-minded tefillah, that small brain tefillah, that body without a soul is schlepped up to. The marshal is, imagine you sent a text message to your friend and he never received it. What happens to those stranded text messages? They're somehow lost and stranded in cyberspace. The same is with a tefillah. When we've got a tefillah but cutness, it doesn't go all the way up. It's stranded in spiritual cyberspace. But when you daven, a good davening, when there's one bracha said with the kavana, when, when we have a moment when we're elevated, whether it's on a Kol Nidre, when we say the bracha of Shechi Yonu Manu, because on Yom Kippur we're so excited because we're davening with Kavana, but the excitement is not just because we're davening now with Kavana, but also all the tefillahs that we did during the year that were created, all those bodies which have been stranded in cyber, spiritual cyberspace, they're all elevated. So on a bad tefillah day, just keep davening, try your best, because on a tomorrow, when you're feeling better, that day, and that tefillah will be elevated to a high place right before the heavenly throne. And as we said, those tefillahs, when we struggle, are the most precious. Avoid the Shabalev. Have a great day.